All right, welcome back to another video, guys. I'm with the Electric Bike Company, and this is a fully loaded Model E that you can order from them right now. After I did the review for the company, they decided to send me the basket. We got the fenders on, we got the rear rack on, which comes with an extra brake light. The brake light now flashes, and I'll show you that really quick so we can show you. It's real easy to turn everything on. You just hold the up button, everything comes on. And you see we have the two main ones down there and then we have this one and this one flashes like that and then you can put some cargo racks on here they have a cool system that integrates stuff in here you can put baskets all that kind of stuff backpacks and if we come around the front this basket is super dope it has some type of liner on the bottom it's like a rubber piece the color matches the bike perfectly it's nice and glossy really well made i think if you guys order these bikes, I think you should order it at least with the front basket because it comes with this light. And this light, so far, I didn't ride it at night or anything like that, but it looked brighter um, in my garage than the stock, the stock one did because the stock one wasn't that great. Um, it is what it is, you know, it's a light. You can still see it. People are able to see me. Anyways, we're going to be taking this bike and I'm going to be riding it, showing you guys some stuff. I'm actually probably going to get some groceries tonight and throw that in there. And thinking about it, I'll bring these for my co-workers now that I can carry stuff. Let's throw this in there. I think I saw my, my neighbor, so I'm going to bring him these. I got a link in the description for these if you want a discount on them. They're pretty good. I don't really promote them a lot. I just I like to drink them. They're really strong, so just be careful on that because they're 300 milligrams. I got delivery. I got energy drinks. <laughs> hey, try one out, man. Yeah. I kind of stopped promoting them. I mean, I like them, but they're strong, man. The gay salad energy drink. Hey, we can carry stuff now, baby. I'm really curious to see how it is when going over like bumps and stuff like that because the drinks seemed like they were uh, bouncing all over the place when I was exiting my driveway. So some few things that I wanted to mention about all this is that I had to install this on myself. And if you guys watched a lot of my other videos, you'd have seen that it, it was sitting there for a really long time with the basket, with everything on it. Um, but I was missing some of the hardware. So a lot of it wasn't actually fully connected. And I had to reach out to the company. They were hella cool. And they got it for me again. And we're all good to go. Now I'm finally riding it. Nothing's rubbing. Everything's bolted down. No issues. But I wanted to say that if you're not really mechanically inclined, I would highly suggest ordering this bike the way you want it right off the bat. Um, I have a lot of older people that are really into this bike. And even for me, it was kind of a, a pain to install this stuff. Like the front basket went on great. The rear uh, rack went on great. But the fenders, the fenders were really, really hard to put together. I wasn't a big fan of putting the fenders together because you have to line everything up. Make sure it's all good. So just order the bike exactly how you want it. And I might highly suggest, they got a few other bikes. So if you really are gonna put like a bunch of uh, stuff in your front basket and you have really rough terrain, you might wanna look for a bike that has front suspension, which they do sell bikes on their website that do have front suspension. Maybe we'll get one of those in the future and uh, we can test it out and see the difference. Just in case, you know, you probably don't want a lot of your like groceries like going all over the place. And like my drinks, they were actually sitting straight up and now they're already like sideways. And I've went like two miles down the street, if that. But yeah, so the back rack is pretty cool. It's called a mix system, I believe, a M-I-K. And it comes with a bunch of uh, like stuff, like if you order from their website. So you can actually uh, connect it to random stuff. Like it actually connects to like a basket or something like that and it has clips that slides on and it locks on. And it's made so people can't steal your stuff on the back. So it's pretty cool. You need like a special key or a tool or something like to push some type of lock in and then it unreleases like your storage and stuff from the back. And it doesn't feel unstable. I know I only probably have like 10 pounds in the front with the drinks, but it doesn't feel unstable whatsoever. I'm probably gonna get some groceries after work. I honestly don't think it's gonna be 10 pounds worth of stuff. But, you know, I should be able to fit, like, two good-sized bags of groceries in here. Woo! -hoo! We'll find out if any of our sodas uh, popped <laughs> when we get to work. 
but I don't think they will as long as they don't hit the outer shell of the basket. The inside of the basket on the bottom has a, um, well, we're going, we're going fast. It has a, uh, a liner. It's like a rubber liner on the bottom. It's super nice. Like I was very surprised when they sent me the basket and I saw the quality of it. I was like, damn dude, like these guys put in some work. I'm sure you guys the whole time in this video are going to hear these energy drinks bouncing around everywhere. <laughs> oh man, that's hella funny. I can't wait though to see how this, uh, this light works at night. Like I'm really pumped because like I said, the stock light on this bike was so-so. It wasn't the best. Surprisingly, people saw me very, very well on the street, but it just wasn't bright to me to be able to see. And this LED one looks way better, way, way better. So I wanted to point out that all the companies that I work with, um, I work with you know a few skateboard companies and a few bike companies, and these people, they're the best. Like customer service, talking to them, they're so easy to get a hold of, like they helped me out. I had some issues with the bike, I sent them pictures to show what was wrong or what I was missing. And you know, they had the parts out to me in no, no time, you know, like they're a great company. And uh, I had some people asking about this bike and I didn't mention it when I did my first review. I'm trying to think, I don't want to get this wrong. And if it is, I'll correct it in the, the footage, but I believe, I think the motor was 10 years and the battery was five years. I'm pretty sure that's what their warranty was. So if you have any issues with your motor or battery, guaranteed you're gonna like get that repaired. Um, you do have to send the parts to them and they will either they will either replace it or they will uh, send you a new a new one if it's uh, messed up. But that's crazy for a warranty. Obviously, they don't cover you know wheels, tires, grips, you know brake pads, stuff like that. They don't you know do that basic stuff. Cause that's just wear and tear items. But actual hardware is really good. So I was telling my coworker that was very interested in picking up this bike, the older guy who wants to ride with his wife and. He just wanted to have some idea if something messed up on it. So that's a really good warranty from that company. Woo! Those drinks. At least they're not sodas. <laughs> it would have been better if I would have just put like everything like in a bag, but oh well. It's so nice and peaceful. I forget how hub motors are like. This is one of the quieter e-bikes that I that I own. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. We're getting some looks. This bike is a looker, guys. Even I'm very, very impressed in how it looks. I still want to wax this bad boy. I want to put some wax or a ceramic coating on the body of this. Have it last for years and years. The more I ride this thing, man, the more it just, it's so comfortable. Like rough terrain, not so much. No front suspension on this bike. But when you're on just a flat road, there's no lumps in the tire. There's no out of balance. It just smooth and you hear nothing. It's just really relaxing. I feel like I'm on, in my own little world just cruising down the street. I wish I lived by the beach. All right, we got to get a running start on this hill. This bike isn't a hill climber. It can do it a little bit. Last time we did this, we were hitting 22. So uh, I can get the pedals going, but I don't think the pedals are going to do much. I got to think about it. I got a little bit of extra weight and I don't, I don't think I charged the bike all the way up to the fullest i think it was down one volt when i first got on it oh we going fast now all right guys so i'm getting to work right now didn't take that much time honestly it takes me about the same on really any bike other than my surong that's hella fast but all the e-bikes i ride that do about 25 30 miles an hour they all get me here in the same amount of time, about like 15 minutes for uh, a six mile trip. But yeah, we'll see you at nighttime. I really want to see how this light works and we're going to talk about that a little bit. You want an energy drink? What? I got energy drinks. Sure. Which one do you want? No, I don't know, I've never tried this one. Uh, you think it's the best? There's Baja Lime. This is a rainbow flavor like Skittles. This is strawberry lemonade. That's a mango. Mango. All right. <laughs> I can I can actually bring stuff. <laughs> I can actually bring stuff now. <laughs> I got a basket. Oh, I just noticed this shit right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's sick. You can That's carry sick. stuff. I'm gonna buy a bunch of groceries when I get off. Look, the basket's coming in handy already. Alright. Alright. I'll see you. I'll be here tomorrow.
Oh, it's misty out here. Hopefully uh, the GoPro doesn't get too fogged up for you guys. Woo! <laughs> I told you I was gonna use the basket and I filled it up. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I hello filled up this basket. Um, one thing I noticed, uh, turning, if you notice right there, uh, <laughs> uh, I have so much stuff that the handlebars, the cable management, the brake reservoirs at the top, they're hitting my bag. So if you do overload this basket, you can't turn as sharp as it used to. And uh, now I get to kind of see how this light looks at night. I'm trying to get in like a really dark spot like right now without that car coming over the hill. But I mean, I guess it's the best I'm going to get. I might be able to check it out later in a darker area. But um, I mean, so far so good. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It's still not very bright. I would definitely want something brighter. I mean, hopefully you guys can see that because I do have a bunch of stuff in my basket. I feel like ET right now, phone home. But yeah, can you guys see that light? Kind of stand up for you guys. It is definitely better than the one that comes on this bike from factory if you do not get the basket. I will say that. But I will say you still might want to get an aftermarket light. Um, you can get some cheap ones. I mean, I have a $50 one. I love it to death. And it is, it is bright, bright. You know, it feels pretty nice to get off of work and be able to throw my backpack with all my goodies without having it on my actual back weighing me down because I do have back problems. I was out of work for uh, a while, nine months, because I uh, pulled a lower disc in my back. I, ha I was supposed to have surgery, but I just kind of worked through it. And um, it feels really nice to be able to just have a basket on this bike. One thing I didn't mention in my review video that I've noticed on this bike is when you're coasting, like you're on it, and then you get up to say like a stop sign or whatever, and you just kind of roll and let off the gas. And then you go to push the gas again or the throttle i should say um it has like a a second delay so you push and hold it and there's no power and then it slowly like comes on so it's not like instant i mean that honestly might be something to uh save the motor or the gears in there something like that there's a street up here that we can definitely tell how good this headlight is once i get to it because it's pitch black for a good like 10 seconds and that'll give us a perfect idea of how this headlight is. I would highly just suggest if you're not gonna get all the stuff, just get at least get the basket because it comes with a better headlight than what you get on the bike if you didn't order the basket. I'm hoping my candies on the side don't fall out. They're looking pretty close. Stay in there, Jolly Ranchers. I think they're, what are they, Jolly Ranchers or something? I forget. All right, I'm gonna go on the road. I got a car behind me, but hey, I made it. I made it, made it, made it. Oh, what was that? I don't know what that was. Ran over something or something came loose. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, some bumping train right there. Hey, my stuff is still in the basket. We're good. We are good to go. The fender is still on there also. I really don't know what that noise was. I apologize again if there's a bunch of mist all over my GoPro. And you know what? I passed the spot. After I thought I lost something on this bike, I passed the spot. So I was going to check for this headlight to see how it was. It's like I said, it's not bad. I'm going to end it with that. It, the light's not bad. I would just highly suggest getting an aftermarket headlamp if you get this bike without the basket because you're really probably going to need it. And then you can also angle this light down because the bolts that mount up to the frame, they're adjustable. It has a little notch that you can kind of move the basket up and down just a little bit. Not There's not much room, but you can a little bit. Woo! I really need to try one of their bikes that has suspension. With having stuff in the basket now, it's a little like, hey, I don't want my stuff to like bounce up and down and fly out. And having front suspension in some of their higher end models would probably be a really good idea. Like if I had a soda in the front basket right now that I was going to drink when I got to my destination, it would be all shooken up. It would be bad. It wouldn't be good anymore. So with having extra stuff in my, my basket, I got tons of stuff. I got, I got sodas, I got candy, I got Twinkies. I think I got chips in there. Um, I got a bunch of like ramen noodle stuff. Um, I got another GoPro from a co-worker with came, came with a bunch of accessories. That's why 
there's so much stuff in here he gave me cases batteries all the stuff you put on like your head your chest i don't know how much weight i actually have in the front but i will say that adding the extra weight in the basket on top of my weight has gave me less miles i can already tell the basket has some weight to it already and then the back rack weighs some and then the fenders a little bit and then the hardware and then on top of you know me filling the basket with stuff so it's really going to decrease your miles if you're going to put stuff in there so just you know just keep that in mind i mean that's with anything you know if you weigh like 110 pounds you're going to get more miles out of it compared to if you know you're 300 pounds that's just kind of you know how it goes if you're going uphill you're going to lose a lot more range going down here you're going to you know have a lot more range but i have definitely noticed because last time i got back with half a battery and i've already been down half a battery a while ago as we were riding so i wonder if i'm going to get down to one bar by the time i get home we'll see if it's still at two bars or not oh here's a really good dark spot that we could test out this light so check this out oh yeah this is this is way better a hundred percent better it has like a yellowish blue tint to it it's like yellow at the bottom and then blue on the very top and it actually looks like it's already angled correctly i didn't have to adjust anything on the basket but you can like i said but it looks like i got mine pretty accurate thanks car for waiting for me and not trying to speed past me i appreciate you again guys sorry for all the mist if there's anything coming on the gopro right now I don't have anything to wipe it clean with, so I'm I'm praying it's not looking too bad for you guys. And if it is, I'm I, I apologize. But hey, uh, huge shout out to the electric bike company. Huge, huge shout out. One of the best companies I've had the pleasure of working with. They're really easy to talk to, and when you need to get a hold of them, they message me back and help me out. And we made it. We got back safely. We still have two bars left. I thought we were gonna be down to one. Oh, oh, look, oh, it changed. It changed, we're down to one now. It's probably gonna go back up because it barely just went down and we're not on it anymore. Holy crap, it just went down right when I got home. So check it out. So see, that's how the, the headlight looks. In person, if you see it, it's like a yellow, yellowish on the outside and like blue right in the middle. And uh, let me show you the back. So see the the back has like a little flashing to it and then you got the two brake lights like down here pretty sick setup this rear rack comes with uh two of these bars so the other bar is longer i want to say this one ends like right here the other one goes probably back here and the cool thing is regardless so you can kind of move this back you can move it forward depending on your cargo if you don't want it too close to you or however you're going to set it up and uh you also have these two screws right here if you loosen these up, you can actually slide this up. So as you slide this up, it will push this back. So it will, it will straighten out. So see how mine is more slanted down. You can have it literally sit straight up or you can have it more back. It just depends on how you're going to load your stuff up. So yeah, everything looks good on the bike. I don't know what that noise was from earlier. I was thinking maybe we lost like one of the fender things. But uh, everything looks good. It must have been something in the road that I didn't pay attention to, but thank you guys for watching the video. And if you do want to pick up one of these bikes, it could be a Model E, it could be a Model R, anything that they sell on their website, you can use code Mr. Central Driver, M R C E N T R A L D R I V E R. So if you want to get one of their bikes, use that discount code. I'll leave the link in the description. Also, go check them out. Awesome people, awesome bikes. So see you guys in the next one. Take care.